Morning. I'm going to use this apparatus to show what proportion of air is oxygen. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to fill one of these gas syringes with air. We're going to remove the oxygen and see how much air is left. At the moment they're both empty. Well, now they're both empty. See? Put air in by sucking air in and out. Gas syringes should move fairly uh, freely without huge amounts of friction. If I just swivel it around so you can see the, uh, the there are volume readings. So I want that to read zero, zero. I want this to read zero, zero. I can suck a hundred of air. 100 centimetre cubes of air there that is reading exactly 100 centimetre cubes on that side and zero on that side and then can I show you these things that is a tube full of fresh copper and the fresh copper will be taking the oxygen out of the air. I need to put that between the two syringes, like that. And I hope that this is airtight. There's no guarantee it will be. But you can check, because there's a hundred of air there, zero air here. If we push this across, then do we have a hundred of air there? Yes, we do. So it is leak free. Push it back and you get a hundred here. So that's working quite well. Now you should have learnt from previous lessons that copper and oxygen react. So if I show you this tube from a previous experiment, can you see it's dark in the middle? Because copper with oxygen is black. Copper with oxygen makes copper oxide. Copper oxide is black. So I'm, I'm going to try and get this hot here. Same to you that I showed you. And when it's hot I'm going to pass the air over it and it will go black as it removes the oxygen that's in that 100 centimetre cubes of air. And on this side, I've got like 95 centimetre cubes now. So I'll pass it back. I get more reaction, more of that oxygen in that air is taken out by the copper. And I've got just over 90, roughly. I just keep doing that over and over again until I get no more reaction. The volume gets lower and lower as a function of the oxygen being removed. We're just over 80% at the moment. Now, I'm going to move that along a little bit to some fresh copper. There's still a little bit of oxygen left in there because I know what volume we should have because I know my chemistry. Pass it over. Just like it's on about 82 at the moment. That's it. That's about it. So let me show you.
hope you can see the copper is looking black as it's copper oxide the volume I hope you can see that the volume reading is 79 79 centimeters cubed that's zero zero on that side so basically I've got 79 centimeter cubes of air left the coppers remove the oxygen stop heating that that copper is now black black copper oxide the oxygen's there it's not inside the air anymore and that leaves 79 percent so 79 percent of air is not oxygen how much is oxygen we started with 100 we've got 79 if you do the maths subtract 79 from 100 you get the answer 21 percent and that is the percentage oxygen in air 21 percent of air is oxygen 78% is nitrogen, 1% argon, and sadly, carbon dioxide 0.04%. When I started teaching, it was 0.03%. But as human beings, we burn fossil fuels, carbon dioxide levels have gone up. And in my lifetime, my 35 years of teaching, um, the percentage of carbon dioxide in air has gone up from 0.03 percent all right it was rounded to 0.03 but now that rounding is 0.04 0.04 percent is carbon dioxide what amazes me is some people seem to think a large proportion of air is carbon dioxide it's not large proportion is nitrogen 78 percent then oxygen 21% then argon 1% and then carbon dioxide 0.04% if you were to round it you get naught but obviously we don't want to teach you there's no carbon dioxide um, there is some carbon dioxide just very small and definitely I don't want you writing at GCSE any hydrogen so many people seem to think there's hydrogen in the air and there isn't okay we'll stop there